So this is Ashley. Um, she has been a part of our brand for, I guess, almost a, almost almost a year, a year. Now. Yep. Almost a year now. Mm -hmm. um, so today we're actually at the Greenville um, Children's Hospital, which is really near and dear to our hearts because it's in our local community and everything, and we're really excited to be a part of Radiothon 2018. Um, but since we are here, um, and Ashley's been with us for almost a year now, I really wanted Ashley to get to tell her story just a little bit of kind of how she started with us and how her journey almost kind of led her to to kind of be a part of our Lauren Ashton collection family. Tell them a little bit about what you used to do as far as a career choice okay. um, before you got sick or anything like that. Sure. So I have been a licensed cosmetologist for 20 years and 13 of that I've been an instructor. Done hair, it's all I've ever done, it's all I know, it's my passion, it's something that I've done my whole life and I don't really know anything else. So getting back to that, when I did get sick and I had to leave behind the chair, it was very, it was very difficult for me because I kind of lost a part of me and who I was. I didn't know what I was going to do. Right. And that was like my identity, you know, right. oh, you're the hairstylist. Oh, you're, you know, right. oh, what can I do with my hair? You know, it's part of my identity. And I really thought I lost that. And um, I was at the um, rehabilitation center doing occupational and uh, physical therapy. And they were like, oh my gosh, we just got contacted. There's somebody that needs a administrative assistant, but this is what it is. It's a place they sell hair extensions. You need to Google them. You need to go on YouTube. And I went on and YouTube and I was like, in our hometown, though. yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm in the backyard. Yeah. Like I live in Greer and right. We're right yeah. there in Spartanburg. And so I was like, okay, I'll go talk to these people. And I Googled them and I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be good. They don't know what they've got coming, but <laughs> I'm going to go and do this paperwork and then I'm just going to scoot my way into everything else. So that's been a year ago and we've done so much in that year. Oh my gosh, I know. And we're, I can't even tell you guys how much that, you know, our entire team loves Ashley and just feels like everything was kind of meant to be for her to be a part of what we're doing and everything. So um, I want you to tell them a little bit about kind of, you know, what happened to you with your health journey. You know, you would, you were still doing hair and everything and then one day. So I home. did hair on Monday because right. it was the week of Christmas. Right. I had like six clients and went to the beauty supply and then went home, everything was fine. Um, that was on Monday, December 19th. On December 20th, um, I woke up, cooked breakfast, and sent the then fiance off to work, and I had to call him 20 minutes later. I couldn't feel my hands, and then within four hours, I was completely paralyzed from the neck down. Couldn't move anything. Um, came here to Greenville Hospital System after a fiasco with another hospital, and they treated me like family. I mean, it was like, all right, we need to find out what's wrong with this lady, and for 10 days, I didn't have a diagnosis, and they ended up diagnosing me with uh, an extremely rare neurological disease called transverse myelitis, and my body decided it didn't like my spinal cord, and it attacked it. So we've spent, what, a year and a half now in recovery, learning to walk and talk and move and do everything like you used to do. Yeah, do everything like I used to do. So how long was it in between you kind of getting out of the hospital and starting kind of trying to develop your, your new normal routine between then and you kind of getting connected with us? I was released from the hospital in February okay. of 2017. Okay. And um, after spending two months, almost two months in the hospital, um, I was doing outpatient physical and occupational therapy. So that was in February. So I came to work with you guys in October. Yeah. So that really wasn't that. That was not that big of a, that big a time of a span. span. Of time. Mm -hmm. That's no. so crazy that you went from that to how you are now. Because I know this girl is a fighter. She is total resilience. I'm, I'm telling you, her face is beside resilience <laughs> in the dictionary. That is Ashley. Um, it's just cra that's so crazy to me to think that there was only that short amount of time yep. in between you coming to yep. be with us. So tell me, what did it feel like to feel like that you would not be able to have your old identity back as far as doing hair? Because I know just even because of myself, how you can feel like that's the one thing that's like your thing in life. Yeah. And for that to be just completely, just literally instantly almost taken from you. 
it was it was very emotional for me because I, I'm independent. I yeah. want to do it on myself, yeah. and so I didn't have that anymore. I had right. to I had to rely on everybody else, right. and so once that set in, yeah, then I was like. Oh my gosh, just one day I was upstairs at Roger C. Peace and one day I realized, oh my gosh, I may not be able to do hair anymore. Right. And I mean, I was having clients call me and Facebook message me and I'm like, I'll be back next week. I'll be back next week. <laughs> that is so and, actually. Yeah, I I'll be there next week. Go ahead and make so the appointment. Actually. And then, you know, it it realistically didn't happen. Yeah. You know, I mean, I told, I was telling people I was in ICU and I was like, yeah, just tell them, tell them to book next month. <laughs> like in January or February, I'll be back. Um, but when I when I woke up upstairs, it was probably the second week in January. It scared me, and I was very upset, very emotional about not being able to do hair. And my now husband was like, "You either lay down and not ever do hair again right. and lose right. what you love, right. or you're gonna get up." Yeah. You're going to work, you're going to go to OT, you're going to go to physical therapy, and you're going to do hair again. So what is your choice? Right. And so my choice was I'm going to... I'm going to be a fighter. Yeah, I'm going to do hair again. Yeah. And so I do, just in a different facet. Yeah. So in, in a different pace. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you had to totally reteach yourself how to move your hands to be able to cut and to do all that. And even still, sometimes she does things different than how she would have normally done them, but she has overcome so much I mean in the past yep. it's really only been like a year and a half yep and I bought my first pair of left-handed shears and I was like so I'm gonna scary. cut I'm gonna cut hair left-handed and then I was looking for a victim I was like okay who's gonna, Who let gonna me be do the this? first person for me to with my left hand hair. you know so I had a couple of, of clients that were like hey I'm all for it I was like That's all right awesome. if you you're brave enough let's do this That's and so, so awesome. now I cut with the left hand and things are you know different but you know it's it works yeah. It, it really works for me and works. There are still things I can do. I can't do a fade yeah. or, you know, a short haircut, yeah. but. But you can do what needs to be done with the pieces. I can do everything that needs to be done with these things. And the really cool part is um, there has actually been a couple of customers now that have come into the salon and it's been so great because they have had health problems that have caused their hair to fall out. And Ashley being the stylist that helps them is huge for them because she shares their story and a lot of her medication has actually caused some of her hair to come out as well. So, she, you know, she used to have more hair before and so it was kind of a, kind of a godsend. Yeah, it was. She came with us yeah. and now she has her piece. And now I take mine off and they're like, you don't have any hair either. And I'm like, I know, I know, we match, we match. Just, can I put this back on, please? That's right. That's right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you know someone in need of some hair because they have gone through any type of health scare, anything like that, please reach out to us. We do free online consultations on our website, thelaurenashtoncollection.com. You can Google us or find us on any of our social media platforms. But thank you so much for watching and um, hearing about Ashley's story. And, you know, Ashley, I just, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, I feel so blessed that you're a part of my company. And, you know, it's great for us to be able to help people all over the world, but to know that, you know, you personally feel like your life has been changed from oh, being yeah, a part absolutely. of our company. You just don't even know how much that, that means to me because all I ever want to do is give back you sure. know, to everybody around me. So, And I that's really why I'm here. It. I appreciate it. That's I love why you. I'm here. I love you too. <laughs> She's the best. <laughs> hey. Bye guys. <laughs> Bailey's offended now. <laughs> oh, Bye guys. Love you.